Hi there guys, lovely to be with you all again today. It's Friday the 23rd of March, a wee bit duller today. It was beautiful these last few days, especially yesterday. Trixie and I had a lovely time up at Lanark Loch. It was absolutely amazing. See all the frogs gathering. One end of the, the loch was amazing. I put a wee video on about it if you want to see. Uh, the frogs, just absolutely amazing, never seen anything like it. Of course all the swans, just beautiful. Hundreds of people out enjoying it. <coughs> don't know if you were shut in maybe at school or at work. I don't know what the weekend's going to be like, but I hope you have a good one anyway, whatever the weather. Enjoy your weekend, stay safe. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks for writing in all your wee emails, your wee messages of love, your wee comments and so on. Had some sad news this morning about the death of a friend of ours, Ian Miller, just 41. 20 years ago he was one of the lads that used to come to Saturday nights at the Glow. We had many a good conversation and even lately on Facebook and he'll be really, really sadly missed. Our sympathies to the family, to all his friends at this time. We're in a lovely wee book of Romans today, Romans chapter 8. It's one of my favourite chapters. It's a lovely Bible chapter and it starts off very, very positively indeed. It says, therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Just think of it, no condemnation, no guilt, absolutely free. Our sins all blotted out, all gone forever. And to be able to live in the joy of sins forgiven. Happy is the man, the Bible says, whose sins are forgiven. And I can say categorically uh, today that all my sins are gone. Every last one of them, even the ones I've not done yet, they're all gone. They're all under the blood of Jesus. Jesus died for me and 40 years ago I put my trust in him and all my sins were blotted out and there's no condemnation for me today because I'm in Christ Jesus. My life is all wrapped up in his. I'm in him, he's in me. I belong to Jesus, I'm one of his children. I love him, I serve him, I worship him. I preach his name, I tell mother all about him. Here I am on the video, it's gone round the world and I'm telling you about the lovely Jesus. There's no condemnation, you can be forgiven all your sins, you can know that you're on your way to heaven, you can be as sure of heaven as if you were already there. People say you can't be sure. Yes, you can be sure, I'm sure. I'm absolutely sure, I'm sure that all my sins are gone because the Bible says there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And I know that I'm in Christ Jesus. I know that I am his and he is mine. Just as I know I'm married, I belong to Trixie and she belongs to me. There was a day on the 9th of August, 1975, when I said I will take Trixie to be my wife. I made that promise and she said it too and we've been happily married now for nearly 37 years. Absolutely fantastic relationship but before that I'd said I will to Jesus and I became his and he became mine and that separ separation there will never ever be between Jesus and me. I'm his and I'm his forever and there's no condemnation for you if you're in Jesus today and that's the question are you in Jesus was there a day a time in your life when you put your trust in him when you believed truly when you turned to him from your sin and you said Lord I'm going to make you my God my King my Savior my Lord did you give him the steering wheel of your life did you let Jesus take the wheel have you been converted have you been saved if you're not sure of these things, then you need to be sure. You need to get to Jesus today because it's only those that are in Christ Jesus. It's only for those that there's no condemnation. You know, if you're not in Jesus, if you're not a true Christian, if you've never been converted, if you're not born again, then you're still under condemnation. You're still under the wrath of God. And if you're to leave this world in that condition, you're going to be lost lost in hell forever. That's the solemn side of the message. And I didn't make up the gospel. I'm just proclaiming what the Bible says. You need to be saved. 
you need to be in Christ. You need to take Jesus as your saviour. You need to give your life over to him. You need to come out publicly and confess that you're a Christian. You need to let your family know, your friends know, your community know, your church know. You need to let the world know that you believe in Jesus. All oh, right, that's hard. Yes, it is. All oh, right, I'll be, I'll be slagged, I'll be mocked, I'll be persecuted. Yes, you will, you know. But we need to do that. We need to show that we belong to Jesus publicly. You know, or else, you know, if we don't, it's just really a sham. We're not really in Christ unless we come out and declare it, you know. We've got to take a stand. Stand up for Jesus. Ah, you'll get slagged at first. But, you know, people will respect you. Finally, most of them anyway, they will respect you. And they'll say deep down in their own hearts, they might not say it to you, although some will, but deep down they'll think, I wish it was me, I wish I had the courage to take a stand for Jesus. There's no condemnation, there's no guilt for those who are in Christ Jesus. And you know, a wee verse later on down the passage says, you know, that the Spirit of God testifies with our spirit that we're the children of God. You know, there's a that there's a spirit that comes inside you and gives you that peace and that assurance that you really do belong to Jesus. And that's what the Lord wants to give you today. He wants to give you a peace and an assurance that you really belong to him and he does it by his Holy Spirit. It's not of us, it's of the Spirit of God. If you trust in Jesus today, the Holy Spirit will enter your heart and he will give you a peace and an assurance. He wants you to be sure, you see. He wants you to have no doubts at all that you really belong to God. And it's a wee miracle that Jesus does in you. When he's in your heart, you will know. You'll have a peace and assurance that he's with you. And he will whisper to you, you're mine and I'm yours. I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. And you can be sure that God is your father, that he loves you and that you're in his family. Wouldn't that be lovely today? If you had that peace and joy of knowing that you really belong to Jesus. That's what he wants. He wants you to have that peace, to have that joy, to have that happiness, to have that assurance that you really belong to him. Listen to the wee verse again. There's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. So make sure you're in Jesus today. Hey guys, thanks for being with us. Have a great weekend. Trixie and I love you all very much. Take care, God bless you, and all being well, we'll see you again on Monday. Bye for now. Satisfied